Hi, it's Sheldon Nisdale here from IamListening.co.nz. Today's video is answering the question, how can I have input into council decisions? So I've got a little list of eight different ways that you can have input, and they're listed, listed um, least effective to most effective. So at number eight, complain to your friends and whoever else will listen, but not do anything official. So that's uh, not going to get you anywhere. Uh, number seven is follow the Tauranga City Council Facebook page and have a say when asked. So here's just an example of that uh, just here on Facebook. Um, so the submissions were open for changes to the long-term plan and it gave um, a link to learn more and then you can go through the submission process but you can actually have your say here in the comments section and those comments will be copied over to the elected members later. So that's, a, that's one way to do it. But an even better way than that is number six. So you can email all the councillors and the mayor at once. You might not know that you could do that. So over to the Tauranga City Council website, go to our council, the elected members, mayor and councillors. And right at the top there is send an email message to all elected members. You just have to click on that and it'll, I don't know if you can see, but at the bottom left hand corner there, it says that the mail will go to elected members at tauranga.govt.nz. So that's one thing you can do there. Even better than that is number five. You can call the councillors in your ward and state your position. So here on the same page as well. So you can uh, have a look at your ward, Mount Manganui, Pitmo Ward, Odomotai, Pais Pa, Te Papa, Welcome Bay. So call one or both of your councillors for your area and uh, tell them what's on your mind. Even better than that, or, number four, organise a peaceful protest in a public place and invite the media. We just don't stage demonstrations enough in this town or even in this country and it could be a really good way to bring a bit more attention to the issue that uh, is really important to you. Even better than that is number three, provide a written submission to council as an individual. So I might explain this process in a bit more detail in a later video, but um, here's the basics of how to do it. I actually can't find the, the link up here in the main navigation. I'm looking for the page, have your say. So I'm just going through the council A to Z here under H and have your say is just here. So you can read the brochure on how the process works. Just download it from there. I'm just going to have a look at a few all formal consultations. So as you can see, a lot of these are closed at the moment, but uh, you can uh, take an example. You can click through on one of those. Now these pages are pretty big and they give you a lot of detail and to get you informed because before you have your say you need to have all the data and recommendations in front of you. So there's a bit of reading to do first. You can also listen to the minutes of uh, some of the meetings as well. So here's an example here going through these documents. Lots of documents and PDFs to download. So you get all the information and then you can have your say and there'll be a, probably a link somewhere on the page there about having your submission. So I can't show you an example because there's none open right now, but basically you go to the next page and it's a form and you fill in your basic contact details and state your position or attach a document if you need to as well. So let's see how you do one of those. So the process of self, uh, itself of actually making the submission, that might take you half an hour or something to write it, but also you've got to be prepared to do some reading and, and be informed on the options as well. So that could take you, you know, a few hours about an issue that you really care about. So that's a pretty, there's a very effective way of um, getting across your position. So that's number three. Even better than that is to provide one of these written submissions on behalf of an organized group. So it's uh, all very well you submitting one as an individual, but you certainly get a lot more weight put behind uh, your position if you can represent a handful of people or maybe an entire group, say an, an association or a, a ratepayers association or a church group, anything like that. That really makes the councillors um, take note of uh, what you've been telling them as well. So that's number two. Even better than that is to do a five minute speech to the council. So you may not be aware of that every open to the public council meeting there's space reserved at the beginning of it for citizens like yourself to have a say on anything they like. So first you could, when you go through the submission, the written submission process, you can tick a box to say that you'd like to come along and back up your written 
submission with a oral presentation as well so that's good but also you can you can uh, break outside of whatever is on the agenda for the councillors that day it doesn't really matter if something comes to your attention and you want to bring it to the councillors attention you can just for the 24 hours or 48 hours notice you can book in a little slot and do a talk to the councillors and that all happens right at the beginning of the meeting before they get to their agenda they um, you can get a say so that's the number one way of having input into council decisions so there you go i hope that was um, helpful just really uh, want to encourage you to get involved and work your way through this list certainly uh, pay more attention to the to the higher more effective means of having input and if you, you like this video and you want to see more videos like this go to iamlistening.co.nz my name is sheldon Lestale. hope you enjoyed that cheers